All right. Okay. So, um, this is a super blue full moon in Pisces. So, um, today I want to do, um, a little energy update as far as, um, the human design perspective goes. And then, um, talking about the full moon and then we're going to do like a little meditation ceremony type thing. Um, so, okay. From the human design perspective, we are moving into Sungate 40 today, and this will be for the next six days. So until Tuesday, we'll be in this energy. Um, so the sun is in gate 40, which is the gate of aloneness, which is all about being of service to other and providing for others. And then the earth gate moves into gate 37, which is the gate of friendship, which is gathering with friends and loved ones, but also knowing when you need to put a boundary up and not give yourself too much. Um, so over the next six days, well, today and five days, um, you will probably feel like the need to support. You might feel drawn to like different charities um, or hosting friends. Um, but keep in mind, like all of these are great things, but you want to make sure that you're listening to your body and that what you're giving, you're also receiving. So if you're giving yourself a lot, make sure you're also giving yourself a lot of time to dive into self-care and to um, fill your cup. And then when making the decision on where or who to support and give your time and energy to this coming week, make sure you're using your strategy and authority in human design. Um, and then make it like kind of like a challenge or try to carve out time this week to really make time to gather with friends and family and to see if there's a way that you can serve. You know, maybe your friend um, is pregnant or just had a baby and could really use help with like a meal this week. Or you have a friend that um, maybe is just feeling a lot of emotions and maybe a phone call is what that person needs. Um, so from the human design perspective, whether you have a defined or an undefined solar plexus center, will kind of impact how you feel the energy. Um, full moons are all about emotional energy and like just being really full. I mean, if you work at a hospital, like that's when it's like the craziest time, right? Or like if you watch like On Patrol Live or like police shows, like that's when like the crazies come out, quote unquote. So with an undefined solar plexus, and this is if you're looking at your body graph, I'll pull up a picture. Um, really quick of my body graph to show you kind of what I'm talking about because that's just the way my brain works. So if you, oh, can you see this? Okay. So you see this triangle over here? This is on the right side. Mine is white. So that means that my solar plexus is undefined. So if you have an undefined solar plexus, you are taking an energy from people around you and just the environment. So you might be picking up on a lot of other people's emotions. Like you're feeling this full emotion that's in the universe right now. So like I said earlier, prioritizing self-care, taking more time to rest, and then also being gentle with yourself. Um, if you are feeling very overwhelmed and you feel like you just need to like brain dump, then send yourself a voice message or a journal. Um, if you have a defined solar plexus, so if it is colored in, this means that you naturally all the time have an emotional wave. So you could feel really high or you can feel really, really low. Um, and it doesn't really matter who you're around or what you're doing. That just kind of fluctuates by itself. And you have to learn how to kind of ride those emotions out and be aware of them instead of letting them control you. Um, if you're not aware, a lot of times you will end up like picking fights or just like lashing out without necessarily meaning to. Um, and it can kind of strain different relationships too. Okay. Also, if at any point you have any questions, um, just drop it in the chat and I'll um, answer it. 
So moving into the full moon in Pisces, um, Pisces is the very last zodiac sign. So this is about releasing and honestly, like letting things die away. Um, if you've been working for several months in a row to release a certain emotion or a certain thought pattern, like this is the time to cut it off. Don't let it come back. This is the end of the 12 zodiac cycle. <clears throat> and um, it's a very psychic sign. So even if you don't think that you're intuitive, which I promise you are, you just can't um, hear or feel your intuition because you've been so conditioned to shut it out. Um, but everyone, in my opinion, has some for some sort of intuition. Um, but because Pisces is a psychic sign, like now is the time to work on developing your intuition. Um, and the perfect time to use divination tools. So to do Oracle card readings, to, um, use runes, uh, I think it's called geography where you put the tea leaves in and you drink the tea and see what they look like in the bottom. Um, automatic messaging, anything that calls to you as far as like intuition and divine downloads and things like that. So with, um, the Pisces in full moon and the way that is positioned with Jupiter right now, the theme for pretty much the next two days is you might notice that you're like dreaming a lot, like you're in the cloud, you're having lots of, um, like daydreams, but you're not necessarily like grounded, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, the spiritual depth, the intuition, and also opportunities arising. There is a harmonious aspect with um, Jupiter right now, and Jupiter is all about luck. So this could be the time that you invite an opportunity in or invite an opportunity to someone else. Um, so I just want to take a minute to give you a chance to reflect over the last 12 months, because with Pisces being the last um, zodiac sign, it's kind of like this is the close to a calendar year, just minus the calendar, if you know what I mean. Um, so this zodiac cycle is completing. So thinking about what you've achieved over the last 12 months, and then also looking at what you want to go differently. So um, you can write these questions down if you want to journal on it afterwards. Um, <laughs> but maybe you had a goal and you didn't really push as hard as you could have for that goal. Um, so maybe you want to release some guilt around not meeting that goal, but also plan out a way that you can show up for that goal differently. Okay. Um, I'll put those in the chat in case anybody wants to journal on those. And then we're going to move into the actual ceremony part. Over the last 12 months, what do you want to go differently over the next 12 months? Okay, so if you have any sage, Palo Santo, um, any kind of herbs, um, incense, essential oil blends, or just plain essential oils, um, you can go ahead and set up a space. I love just burning Palo Santo. And I created a... Um, a smudging bundle from my own garden so I'm excited to use that in a little in a couple more weeks but okay so we are going to do a meditation visualization and um so get comfortable and I'm hoping I can do this without my throat cracking up okay so I'm just gonna play some music in the background. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Okay. 
Okay, so full moons are the perfect time to shed behaviors and releasing emotions that are not getting you to the place you want to be. That's not helping you move in the direction of becoming your soul self. So I want you to close your eyes and just become aware of your breath. So as you breathe in, feel the rise of your chest. And then as you exhale, feeling your chest fall. And just breathe normally, focusing on your breath. Finding that stillness and really becoming more grounded and more present in your body. Now I want you to think about what you want to release. So this could be a person, this could be a situation, this could be a behavior that you have. Whatever pops in your mind, just honor that that is what you're meant to release today, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense right now. And I just want you to bring that to the forefront of your mind and visualize this person, this behavior, this emotion. Visualize it with your third eye. And if it's something that necessarily doesn't have a form, like an emotion or a behavior, just give it a form however you see fit. Now on your next inhale, I want you to visualize this person, this behavior, this emotion, this thing. I want you to visualize it becoming encompassed by a pink bubble. And once this object, this thing is inside of this bubble, I want you to watch it slowly begin to drift away from you. And as it's floating away, keep breathing. And notice if there's anything that comes up. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel relieved? Do you feel sad? Do you feel anxious? Do you feel joy? Whatever you're feeling right now, just sit with that and be in that energy. And know that as this pink bubble is drifting further and further away, it's being turned over to the universe. You're surrendering this to the universe, and it is no longer something that you have to carry. The universe will handle it from here. And now that that pink bubble has left your realm of view, I want you to think of something or of someone that you're grateful for. And bring that person or that thing to the forefront of your mind and visualize that person or thing in your third eye. And begin embodying that gratitude. Feel that gratitude spreading throughout you. How do you feel once that gratitude takes place? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel like you have these little vibrations going through your body? And just focus for a minute on that feeling. After we release, it's always good to refill with gratitude. So with your eyes still closed, I want you to place your hand on your heart and 
and out loud or in your mind, repeat after me. I release what no longer serves me. I know that everything is happening for my highest good. Under this beautiful full moon, I know that only good will come to me. And just take a couple of more deep breaths, really finding that groundness in the gratitude, grounding in the gratitude. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And I'm going to pull a card for us. But if you want to share, um, feel free to come off mute or type in the chat and share um, anything that came up. You can share what you released. You can share how you felt when you released it, how the gratitude felt. So I'll give you a second if anybody wants to share. If not, that's perfectly okay too. And I'm just going to clear these, cleanse them. And we're going to pull one of the Moonology purple cards. This is the perfect time, like I mentioned earlier, to really dive into... Um, Connecting with source or God or the universe, whatever it is, however you decide to acknowledge that, um, whether that's through prayer, meditation, cards. Um, okay, so just seeing what kind of guidance comes through as we move past this full moon, past this releasing ceremony okay so this one is the new moon in capricorn your hard work is paying off and this can be in any thing. This doesn't have to be like necessarily with um, like monetary goals or anything like that. Whatever you've been really putting your time and energy into, this is just a sign that it is paying off. Okay, new moon and a Capricorn. Okay, so this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either re renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years. That will inform your best course of action now, so think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's a time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. And it says, attune to the moon by making a proper plan and executing it well. <laughs> so, I feel like that kind of goes along with the journal, um, the reflection earlier um, about what have you accomplished um, in the past 12 months and how do you want things to go differently in the next 12 months. Um, and yeah, this is an opportunity for you to plan how you want your next, you know, week to go, your next month to go, your next year to go. Um, so yeah. Okay, I put some journal prompt questions um, 
in the group chat and in the comments on the Facebook um, post. So go look there. If you can't find them, just message me and I'll send them to you. Sorry, my throat is acting up. Okay, Heather says, I'm releasing negative emotions. That makes me feel like I cannot meet my goal of becoming a nurse. This card really resonates. My long-term goal has changed in the recent past, and I am doing all I can to meet this goal. First recent accomplishment was passing my entrance test. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. That is amazing. And also just having, like, the awareness that it's okay for you to pivot and change and shift a little bit, right? Like, I feel like I pivot like every single week. <laughs> but I'm super proud of you for passing the entrance test. And I think a lot of us, myself included, we get so caught up in the how that we kind of lose sight of like the why, right? So I, if we are coming to any goal with like pure intentions and from like a place of passion and love, the universe is always going to provide the how. Um, I don't know if anybody has watched this movie. I think it's the multiverse, like Marvel movie, when um, Doctor Strange is like, whatever, and like all of these things keep like, like all of these pathways keep like folding over in front of each other, creating like this path. That's how I like to think of the universe. Like once I get clear and I'm coming from a place of like love and passion and light. The universe is just going to like continually put things on my path to help me get there. So I don't have to worry about the why. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> the contract that you advised us to make last time really helped me. Yes, the contract, printing it out and signing it. Yeah. And what's cool is if you keep all of these like in a folder or like in a drawer and then like in six months or in a year, go back and look. It is so cool to see like the goals that you set on like new moons and how many of those actually came true or like the things that you released. <laughs> Sorry. The things that you released that like you don't even think about anymore. You're like, oh, I forgot that I did that whole like ceremony on releasing that because it just doesn't cross your mind anymore. <sighs> okay. That was awesome. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for hanging with me. This is something new for me. Um, I've never really done meditations with other people. So it's definitely pushing me outside of my comfort zone, but in a way that lights me up that I am super passionate about and want to continue. So thank you for being here. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, um, feel free to message me, feel free to post in the Facebook group. Um, but I really appreciate y'all being here tonight and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.